Hey guys, Nick here and today I'm going to show you how to use initialized patches from Vienna Symphonic Library's Smart Spheres and how to create a pitched uh, type of uh, ambient swells that can work pretty good on top of those dark ambient drones that we created in the previous episode. So, we're going to open up our Vienna Synchron player, we're going to navigate into the preset navigator, go into Smart Spheres, go into Multi Preset, the ones with are without the original with the no effects, and then I'm going to go into Percussive Sounds, and I'm going to use Frozen Mallets, and then I am going to first detach the two of these, unlearn the diminished control uh, for the... This one just controls, you know, just shifts between the two, but we are not going to do that. And then we're going to enable the frozen mallets. And we are going to disable the FM dark attack. Okay. Just so we don't get any type of bugs between, you know, just shifting from the two patches. So we're gonna, uh, so we have just unlinked the two and deleted one of those. Okay, so you can use these things. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay, it's pretty cool. Now, edit. Let's set up our attack. And our release is gonna be pretty long. So this is like those bell sounds. We can we can increase the level of this on our master volume here and in our edit just control click on this to All right, let's see if we can create just a tiny little bit more. Okay. So this is what you get. Now, in our mix control, we are going to go into our effects, we're going to change our room reverb for plate reverb. I prefer using plate reverbs on my, you know, uh, ambient sound design stuff. And we're going to give this a dry wet knob, a little bit of a push. We can freely just... Okay. We're not gonna. All right, now, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add just a wee bit of uh, hmm, modulation with chorus and flanger. Ah, there we go. Pretty interesting. Now, uh, chorus and flanger, and then I'm going to add a delay just for fun. I'm going to open up my ping pong, put a center, the thinning, just a tiny little bit of thinning, not the wet signal, and then. Okay, but what if we add an aux track here and add a saturator, push the overdrive, go into high and then add like a soft, now we're going to go into our auxes and then our, alright, we can overdrive it. Huh. There you can you can f get a sense of of it saturating. Now, hmm, let's see if we can c 
control our Mm-mm-mm-mm. reverb level okay let's go into edit mode yeah let's then go into like cluster type of sound of humanization to cluster from cluster just gonna keep our saturation here sounds pretty cool maybe we can just go into basic edits and tweak the reverb I, I think it's getting a little bit of a mud here and the most important thing is that we're going to use a low cut here cleaner so this is a this is the type of ambient you know background sound that that you can you know you can utilize in in your ambient composition it sounds just like some sort of a tiny little bells and you know, uh, it's got a slower attack time, which makes it perfect for ambient. It's not that harsh and pingy. So yeah, you can use it with those drones. You can use it in your own ambient compositions. And by going into, you know, user, clicking on folder and saving it, then you can, uh, you know, store it as your own sound and use it. So yeah, I've hoped this uh, video has been informative and helpful to you and I'll see you in the next video where I'll be showing you some cool sound design stuff uh, from Vienna Symphonic Library's smart series. Maybe let's go next time try to create something out of smart hits for example. We'll see, you know. Until then, have fun, take care and bye-bye.